Hello everyone, my name is Gavin C from Player.net and today I'm going to go through how to install DDR3 RAM onto a motherboard. It's really easy and uh, it's one of those things that with more RAM comes more performance from your PC. So I'm going to show you the simple way to install it and the two different alternative ways that I have found over the years for popping this into the motherboard. Okay, so here we have the motherboard with the empty RAM slots. RAM slots can be located in different areas and with different capabilities and quantities um, per board. So I've seen ones where you have two over on this side of the board and this on the right hand side of the processor and two on the left. They come in different formats and different numbers. Some have two, some have one, some have four, some have eight. You know, it can really vary. So once you've located the RAM slots, which should be indicated in your uh, motherboard manual or be easily locatable by seeing the strip here with the small retaining clips on each side. Once you've been able to locate that, then you know it is your RAM slot and you can go ahead and install the RAM. Now there is a little bridge you can see on here, more over to the right hand side of the camera, which is just a big line here. That is actually an easy indication to show you whereabouts, um, well how to actually install your RAM because you know whereabouts that bridge needs to be located. So <clears throat> it's a little bit easier for me to show you than to explain. So we have this small cut out here on the RAM. That needs to move, or tally up with the bridge here, otherwise it won't be installed. As you can see, if we try and do it this way, it will just not fit whatsoever. If it gets down to there, it will just stop because that bridge, it doesn't have anywhere for that bridge to fill in. So the RAM itself needs to go in one specific way, which is with that bridge towards the direction that it is, in, that is on the slot on the board. And uh, once you've got that there, I'll pop it into number three just to show you. Once you've got those matching, what you have to do is pop the RAM onto the board, or into the slot, sorry, and then just push down from there, and the retaining clips will clip in from each side. And those retaining clips, you can see, are now further in and locking into place. It's really easy to do. I have seen two different ways. I've seen that typical way there where you just pop the RAM into the slot and push the module down. Um, try not to do it too hard in case you have got the wrong way around and do check that before installing. And I have seen a different way, or a different method, sorry, which is where you use one side than the other. So to start with, you make sure, as usual, you've got them in the right direction, or the right, uh, fitted in the right way. And what we do, we pop that on there, and you push one side down until it clips, and then you do it on the same, you do the same on the other side. So we can alternate it a little bit, um, depending on <clears throat> how you prefer to install it. I prefer just to go straight in and push it down from the heat sink that's on top. Try not to cause any damage to the RAM at all, just try and push it in so it's got a solid connection. So guys, it's really that simple and easy. Um, just a case of locating where those, the cutout is on the pins on the module of RAM, and then just pop it into the socket itself and push, pushing it down until it clips into place and now obviously that RAM is installed. So guys, that was an installation of DDR3 RAM. It's really easy to do. If you have any questions or you need any help, just give us a shout. We're more than happy to help. Uh, please like, comment and subscribe on the video just to show us a bit more support and thank you for watching.